Hey, I'm Bianca Ingram, and you're checking out DejaVuMedia.com. So I am from South Jersey, Voorhees, Winslow, what's up? Well, when you grow up around your family performing all the time and you're in the studio all the time, I had a studio in my house ever since I was born. To me, that was just natural to be in the music industry. I've never even wanted anything else. That was just a natural career choice. And um, because I was able to see them perform all the time, uh, I actually like live bands and live musicians. It adds more to a show. I don't want to just be a, a track artist. I want to be able to bring that, you know, live feel to the stage just like my dad and my uncles did. Well, you know, in the most humble way possible, I am more than a triple threat. I sing, dance, act, I write, I have ideas for videos and things, and I, you know, I went to school for musical theater all that stuff like I'm just hands-on in everything in entertainment so you know <laughs> it's the whole it's the whole package is what it is what you're getting from me I don't just sing the song I'm gonna write what I want to say and sing it <laughs> okay so funny story um, when I write songs I never just like sit down and say okay I'm gonna write about this today I just kind of you know put on one of the tracks that my brother gives me and I just sing. And then whatever comes out, that's the song. <laughs> so I tend to write down what I say after I've already recorded myself singing it. So I heard it and I was like, so close, so close. And that's how it started. Like I just started singing it. And um, a lot of times I don't even know what my songs mean because, <laughs> because I'm not like trying to make some deep meaning about it. I just let the people interpret what they want. <laughs> from this song. <laughs> I try to interpret it too because I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it is a project that follows a girl, okay, myself, because I'm a very honest writer, from a tragic breakup that she has and getting back to love again. Because sometimes when you feel like, you know, oh my gosh, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me, I'm never gonna love again, you get all dramatic. But there is love, again, on the other side. I promise you people, there is love, again. <laughs> you just have to go through the motions, and that's what Phone Waffles, it takes you through. Now, as for the title, the Phone Waffles, maybe you have to just, you know, get the EP, listen to it, and see for yourself. <laughs> there is a self-titled song on there, Phone Waffles. That might explain it a little better. <laughs> Plug, Selena. Of course, I was obsessed with Selena. Like I really thought I was her for like two years. Beyonce, can't leave out the queen. Diana Ross, I like, I like Diana Ross. She's so classy. Um, my uncle Johnny, Johnny Ingram, because that's a singer I grew up watching perform and sing. And so Michael Jackson. I have a passion for a few things. One of them is the Alzheimer's Association because my grandmother did pass away from that. So that's something I really want to get involved with as well as, you know, helping homeless people, helping them get shelters. Like recently in Camden, they closed down one of the shelters and now there's people who have literally nowhere to go. We have winter coming up and it's been getting crazy, the weather, and that's just something that's that really affects me and emotionally, like that really bugs me, so I am wanna do something about that. And I also want to get into animals, like I really love animals. <laughs> I say all the time I'm gonna get my exotic animal license so I can like, you know, rehabilitate lions and stuff like that. And it sounds crazy, but I'm very, very serious about it. <laughs> now, um